hello and very well, welcome to the channel in today's video we are going to learn how we can use Firebase ways crystalytics into our ice app Firebase ways crystalytics gives us an insight about the crashes that is occurring in our app with the detailed information where they are triggering and for this we will create a demo application so let's start here we will name it crash analytics demo and next and here we will save it to our folder in our drive and create So our Xcode app is created. Now the next step is to create an app in Firebase console. So go to and create a project, add a product and, and say crash analytics demo. Continue. Here say Google Analytics, enable it. Select an account, create a new account. Crash analytics demo will save it. And We'll save the country to our native country. And the project is being created now. It will take a few seconds to set up all the things on Firebase console. So here we are project is created and it's ready now we are into our dashboard of our project and now here say st start adding firebase to your app so click on ios icon and here we need to add the bundle id so we go to here copy this bundle identifier and here now it's an optional but you can put a name here and register app Now download this Google service info P list. Save file and then we will what we will do we will drag it to here. So this is our Google service P list file. It's created right now and we will add it to our project. It's finished. Right, it's finished now. Now click next and then they say that add firebase to your project so we're using firebase oh sorry swift package manager swift new add package enter the url here and dependency rule we will say exact version and add package so it will fetch the packages from the repo
So now these are fetched and we will say Firebase Analytics and here Firebase Auth and Firebase Crash Analytics. We need this add package and our Xcode project is adding the package dependencies now. So it will take some time, a few minutes, a few seconds based upon your inter internet connection speed. And then we go to our Firebase console and next and here they say import Firebase. So we copy this and go to our app delegate. And here import Firebase. Then next we need to configure it. So we copy this command next and we paste it here. So say no such module Firebase. So let's run the app. So now the app is built and it's launching the simulator. This means we have done the setup of our Firebase. Now we need to do the setup for the Crashlytics. So we go to continue the console and from here we select Crashlytics. And here they say add SDK. So we go to the documentations. And here it says check out this Firebase. We've already done this. Now, what we need to do is so this is the same steps. They say import Firebase and Firebase app dot configure. Now set up Xcode to automatically upload DSYM files. These files are required to symbolicate your crash logs. So here the first step is set debug information format to draft with DYSM file. So we go to here in our project and here in target in build settings select information so here you can see debug information report so here the release is already set to draft with dysm file so we will set the debug to and also in our project settings so this is the first step we needed to do in order to upload our dy dsym files automatically now we need to write a run script phase so we copy this and 
here in our target we go to build phases new run script phase and here we will add this run script provided by the firebase facility and the last step is we need to add these scripts to the input file section so we go to our xcode and here input file section and we first one and the second one so now this is done and now we can forecast the crash so let's copy this code for the time being and here in our view controller we will copy this the code given by the file mesh for simulating demo crash or, to, or simulating a crash and here copy this and write it this and now let's run our app So here the build is succeeded and our app is launched on our iPhone 12 simulator. Now we need to replicate a crash and here you can see the crash is done. Index out of range. Right. And now what we need to in order to so at this time no crash is being reported to the firebase. For that we need to relaunch the app here right and again and now we will go to our here and we will refresh this page app detected and we are waiting for a crash so it takes some time sometimes it takes few moments so here you can see now the crash is automatically coming one crash one user and the crash is view controller dot shift line number 25 when you click on it it will showcase you and where exactly the crash is happening and if you go to the keys then it says continuous error buffer set fatal error index out of range so it will give you default a description of the crash where it is happening and the stack trash trash for this so here this is all about firebase questletics and how we can use this firebase questletics into our ios app and track the crash that is happening inside our app so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you have any question then please feel free to comment on this video and if you like this video then please share and give it a thumbs up have a nice day bye for now